Welcome! In this tutorial I will show you how to use lists or loop inside React JSX. For example, we need to output a list of items and uh, render them. Let's open our application. It's a simple application created with Create React App. And we have array of data, its object with the name, for example, and we have a component we want to render with this name. How we can do it? Without loops, you always can uh, render component like person, name, and the uh, path name you need. In our case, it's data in array, zero, for example, name. And uh, you need to duplicate it for the second item, for example. And when you will render, you will see that it works. But it's not a loop. It's not what we expected. And it's not scalable anyway. So how we can do it? According to the documentation, we see that we can easily uh, render arrays map method returns array of items. In our case, it will be a list of Li items, but list items is array of Li. How it works? Let's check. For example, we will render array of text Li. And we with with a comma separated, second um, let check. So as you see, React renders arrays very well. Okay, now we need the change approach with a person. name will be zero name and for the second person for the second item and the close component So as you see, it works again, but anyway, it looks ugly. We need to implement it a bit more better. Now let's delete it and go through the all items we have and return cycle. So how we can do it? We can do, for example, we have four items. Let's create a constant persons. It will be empty array and for let e zero e less four e plus plus we go through all elements and the persons push person name and for example it will be uh, data in array i and uh, name so current element and now we can output the uh, persons. Let's check. Again, we forgot close tag. So as you see, we outputted all four items. Anyway, it looks ugly and uh, it's a hard coded value of how many items we have. Now let's replace four to data in array lens so first of all everything works and now we can do a bit other way we will do data in array map the current item will be person and we need we want to return
this person name. We don't need this for and output persons again. Let's check works, everything works as well. And uh, the final approach we can uh, implement it inside JSX without even um, this const. So just cut here and uh, inside um, JSX you go through all items you have data in array. And you will return person. Works? Yes. The next uh, important part. We even can do um, destruction operator. We take a name from the current item and output name. It's even less code. Works, but important part when you open the console you see that we should have a unique key prop you can read more about key props in the documentation but to be short keys are used to identify items were changed so it's from react performance step and uh, react should know what items were changed and it renders specific items of your uh, components from your cycle. So don't forget to add the key. Key should be unique value. In our case, we have ID. We will use ID. ID will be unique item, unique identifier. So everything works fine. And as you see, this approach is the most popular approach you can find in the internet and you will use mostly only this way you have data source you go with map through the these items and you return some component with key you know that you need um, you know why do you need map because of it returns array and the react renders arrays well uh, key we pass to the first um, children or wrapper for example if we will use div and person will be inside of a div and key for the person it won't work because of we need put key to the first children inside it's in our case it will be div so now let's refresh and it works fine again so now you know how to loop through the elements inside React JSX. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.